Sunday sa ating lahat. This is PE from Jesus Followers Community. Happy first day of November. Ngayon ay mahal mahalaga tayong tatalakayin. We're going to talk about a very old tradition that almost all people believe. Okay? And today, I'm going to share with you the word of the Lord where we could base our faith and our way of living. God bless everyone and may the Lord bless His word for today. Let's begin. I'm going to talk today about Happy Halloween. Okay, sino po nakakarinig nito? Almost every November 1st or end of October, ito po ay nagiging party party. Okay? Malala ko nun nung nasa uh, um, ASCM po ako, Kapag mga ganitong mga araw, may mga tinatawag silang Halloween party. So, nagko-costume ang mga tao ng mga scary things, okay? May may mga wicked witch, may mga skeleton, all right. So, this is a very old tradition and today as a bonus for this preaching and sermon, I'm going to share with you some trivias. So, basically November 1st we celebrate All Saints Day. Okay. And November 2, we celebrate All Souls Day. Okay. November 3 is Judith's Day. Ano yung Judith's Day? Hello, Judith. Happy birthday po sa isa naming napakasipag na discipler. Alright. At yung first disciple niya ay magdi-disciple na din next week. Congratulations and we are very proud of you, Judith Mabitado. Ayan. So, sinisigaw ko sa buong mundo at <laughs> sa mga nakikinig. God bless you, anak. Alright. So, it's, it's her birthday on November 3. Happy birthday. Ayan. So, na-shout out ka pa sa sermon, anak. <laughs> I love you, Judith. Alright. So, basically, this first two days of November are remarkable in history and even it impacted our lives. Alright. So, first, as an introduction, I'm going to share with you some Halloween trivias. And the first thing here is the All Saints Day. Okay, paano nga ba nagsimula ang All Saints Day na sinesalebrate natin ng November 1? Well, according to Google, <laughs> okay Google, <laughs> alright, sabi dito, it began as a celebration for martyrs then saints. So yung mga martyr lang pala ang, ang sinatawag nilang santo or saints noon. Okay, and then later on, lahat na ng mga kristyano. Okay, it has been extended to all Christians, whether you are a pastor, whether you are a faithful Christian or Jesus follower, or whether you are uh, living for Christ, okay, you are impacting, inspiring, sharing the good news and the lives of other people. Okay, tinatawag kang saint. Okay, so ang santo po ay hindi lang yung mga patay, pati pala buhay ay mga saints. Ayan. So, that's a biblical perspective or point of view. Alright. So, nowadays, November 1 of All Saints Day is now celebration of people sharing the same faith in God and commitment to do the gospel. So, if you have faith in God, if you have commitment to do the gospel or to do good, good things to other people, then, welcome to the club, Saint Kapo na tinatawag. Ayan, so hindi lang po si Saint Santa Claus, Saint Valentine, ang Saint, alright? So yung mga yun po, yung iba po ay idinugtong na lamang sa mga pangalan nila. But the real saints ay yung mga nakay Lord, nasa Panginoon. Amen. So that's the first trivia. The second trivia today is about November 2 or the All Souls Day na tinatawag. Let's read. According to my source, it's when you pray for the souls of their loved ones who already passed away. Ah, ito po kaya pala ipinagpre-pray ng mga ibang tao ang mga kanilang mga yumaong kamag-anak at mahal sa buhay. Ito po pala ay nag-ugat sa isang tradisyon ng All Souls Day. According to this, alright, pinagpe-pray po nila para mahingiin yung mercy o kaawaan ng Panginoon na yung kaluluwa ng kanilang mga yumaong mahal sa buhay ay pumataas sa langit or masave baga 
papunta sa langit. Okay, siguro hindi 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 confident na napunta sa langit kaya ipagpe-pray pupunta sa langit. Okay, I don't know their main reason, but of course, if you love a person, you would love that that person will be saved. Okay, kaya makaka-relate tayo. Amen. Okay. So, so yun yung mga ginagawa ng mga ibang tao. So they pray for the, the their loved ones to ascend to heaven. Okay. So they remember them through prayer and a mass is held if the day falls on Sunday. Kaya may misa, okay, na tinatawag para sa mga patay. Okay, that is an old tradition pala. Okay, so ma ma makikita nyo na hindi lamang Pilipinas ang pinangyayarihan yan. In China, they have this kind of Chinese Hungry Ghost Festival. You know, this is very interesting because this belief ay katulad ng belief natin sa All Souls Day. Anong ginagawa nila? They believe din na yung mga yumaong mahal nila sa buhay ay parang binibisita sila at gutom na gutom daw. Kaya nag-aatang sila. Naglalagay sila ng pagkain sa mga mesa, sa mga tabi ng picture ng <laughs> mahal nila. Okay? Para kainin daw ng mahal nila kasi they are already hungry. Diba? Meron din sa Mexico. This is very interesting. Mexico's Dia de los Muertos. Kung napanood nyo po yung pixel na movie ng, ng Coco, okay, about sa yumao niyang yung, uh, mahal sa buhay. Alright? So, ganyan din ang istorya. Yung namatay, okay, bibisita sa mga buhay. Alright? So, hindi lang pala mga Pilipino ang may ganyang tradisyon. Even sa ibang bansa, naniniwala sila na yan ay nangyayari. Okay, let's dig down saan nga ba nagmula itong paniniwala natin ganito. Alright, so Halloween. Halloween began in the pagan times. Ah, ito palang pinaggagawa natin ganito ay nagsimula sa mga pagano. Ang pagano, ito yung mga walang pananampalataya sa totoong Diyos. At sila ay sumasamba sa mga Diyos-Diyosan. <gasps> Tama po ang inyong narinig. Okay? This tradition na ginagawa natin is a belief rooted from unbelievers. So if we don't know that, maaring ginagawa natin dahil nakaugalian na natin pero di natin alam. <gasps> hindi pala siya naayon sa katuruan ng ating Panginoon. Alright. So, let's take a look at this. This Halloween literally means Holy Evening. It origins, uh, it, its origin dates back to the festival of Samhain. It's the end of the harvest season on summer. So, pagans believe, take note, pagans believe that on this day, spirits can pass through the land of the living. Yung mga spirito daw ay nakakapunta sila sa mga buhay. Okay, kung asan yung mga buhay. At ang paniniwala nila dyan, at the end of summer, okay, eto mga spirito na to, bubulabog sila para sirain yung mga pananim nila for the next season of harvesting. Kaya ang ginagawa ng mga tao, no, Ang ginagawa ng mga tao, as a response, they make bonfires, set up dinner tables, and offer food to calm the spirits. Ito pala ay response, itong pag-aatang. Response lang pala dito sa pagan na belief na ito. Okay, sino po sa atin ngayon ang nag-aatang pa hanggang ngayon? Okay, maybe this is an eye-opener to us na, ha, ito pala ay paninampalataya or paniniwala ng mga pagano. Okay, so maybe we can change that. If you really believe in Jesus Christ, if you believe in Christ, okay, we should not do as what pagans believe and practicing. Okay, so yan po ang ating trivias. There are more trivias later on, but for now, let's go ahead with this main topic today. Intro lang po yun. <laughs> Ang haba. <laughs> okay. Happy Halloween. Alright. The next time you will gonna hear this or encounter this saying or this cliche word, this famous party and celebration, dapat ang sasaisip mo ay hindi na yung mga practices ng pagans. Today, I'm going to give to you another meaning of Happy Halloween. Ano yon? 
Ito po siya. How to live happily na may halong winner. You know, you have to live happily that you have to be a winner as well. Paano ka magiging winner? You have to win something. Take note. Paano ka magiging winner? You have to win something. Okay. Let's proceed to the word of the Lord today. And this will be the main verse that I'm going to share with you. Remember this. Death is not your loss. It could be your win. Death is actually your gain. How can we win death? How could be death be our gain? Yan ang ating tatalakayin sa araw na ito. Let me take a look at these key verses with different versions of the Bible. King James Version. For me, to live is Christ and to die is gain. Contemporary English Version. If I live, it will be for Christ. And if I die, I will gain even more. Okay, Good News Translation. For what is life? To me, it is Christ. Death then will bring more. Napaka-creative ng pagka-translate nito pero iisa lang ang kanyang ibig sabihin at tinutuntod. Let's 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 parse it in two main points today. Only first, to live is Christ and the second is to die is gain. Okay. Ano nga ba itong ibig sabihin ng to live is Christ? Ano yun? Ano daw yun? <laughs> okay, alamin natin. To live is Christ. The word live here came from the word zao, alright, which literally means to live. Take note, you can have a life in heaven as a citizen of heaven. You can have a life here on earth as a citizen of earth. Alright? I'm a citizen of the Philippines. I'm a Filipino. <laughs> okay, but at the same time, I'm a Christian. Okay, and I'm a Christian. We should not be ashamed of saying that we are Christians. Alright? So we have to live in Christ. The word or statement or the simple phrase here, to live is Christ, simply means to experience God's gift of life. Yang buhay mo ay isang regalo. Dahil yan ay regalo, you have to enjoy it. But with a purpose. Okay? So, hindi lang basta i-enjoy natin sa mga walang kwentang bahagay, dapat sa may kabuluhang bagay. How are we going to do that? Okay, the first thing, para mas maintindin natin, we have to understand that to live is Christ means to live is through or by Christ. Mabubuhay tayo hindi dahil sa, sa pamamaraan ng ating sarili, kundi sa pamamaraan ng Diyos. Okay? Look at this. In Philippians chapter 1 verse 10, let's read. Ang sabi ni Paul, For I want you to understand what really matters. Hey, take note. Dito sa mundo, madaming mahalaga. Pero ang sabi ni Paul, what really matters? Okay? So that you may live pure and blameless lives. Yun pala ang pinakamahalaga. That we may live in pure and blameless lives. So when we live by Christ, it means we live in the pureness of Christ, in the purity, in the righteousness that is in Christ, not in our own. Paul described it as God's righteousness and not his own righteousness. We don't have righteousness. All of us has fallen, have fallen short in the glory of God. Okay? Tayong lahat ay makasalanan. So who is righteous anyway? None of us. But we can be righteous through the righteousness of Christ. This is living a blameless and a pure life. And that's what matters most. Ang ganda po, di ba? Okay, let's continue to read. Ang sabi dito, May you always be filled with the fruit of your salvation. Fruit of your salvation. Take note, when you receive Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, you have been saved by grace. Now, that fruit of salvation, you have to work it on as you mature in your faith. Ang tinutukoy dito ni, 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 ni Paul is that the righteous character produced in your life by Jesus Christ. Okay, 
take note of the word by Jesus Christ. Okay? Not by your pastor, not by your your <laughs> discipler, not by your parents, not by yourself, not by myself. It's by Jesus Christ. You know, there's a means of living, okay, na kailangan nating gawin, dapat tumingin lang tayo kay Jesus Christ. It is only by Him that we can produce a righteous character. Titignan mo yung pastor mo, nako, madami kang masasabi. Titignan mo yung discipler mo, nako, madami kang masasabi. Tignan mo yung kapitbahay mo, ay nako, mas madami kang masasabi. Tignan mo yung mga nang aaway sa'yo, mas matitisod ka, tama? But if you look at Jesus Christ, who is blameless, who is pure, then you can have a life that is pure and blameless. Amen. Okay, so that is how you can live by Christ. Oh. The next thing is, when you say to live is Christ, it also means that it's for the glory of Christ. Okay, let's read at Philippians chapter 120 verse 21. For I fully expect and hope that I will never be ashamed, but that I will continue to be, hold, to be bold for Christ, as I have been in the past. I trust that my life will bring honor to Christ, whether I live or die. Alam mo po, napakaganda nito eh, kasi nung sinulat ito ni Paul, nasa prison siya. <laughs> At siya ay malapit ng mamatay. <laughs> but see, ito yung sinasabi niya. I trust that my life will bring glory to God. So when you live, that is, when you say that you live, so when you say that to live is Christ, it means you live to glorify and bring honor to Christ. Amen? Whatever we do, Hindi naman kailangan maging pastor ka to bring honor to Christ. Hindi naman kailangan maging famous ka to bring honor to Christ. Even the littlest thing, that, you know, even the smallest thing na kaya mong i-contribute para sa kingdom ni Lord, hindi mo yan masusukat ng ibang tao because only eternity can tell. Okay? Merong isang kwento, no? Merong isang pastor na hinuhuli-huli-huli niya yung isang young people na napakatigas ng ulo. <laughs> okay, hinahunting pa niya yan sa mga eskinita para lang mag-discipleship class sila. Ayaw niya. <laughs> Pero, through time, with those efforts, alam niyo po yung young people na yun, isa na pong pastor ng mega church. Wow! You see? But your most simple effort, hindi natin yan masusukat because only eternity can tell. Through you, Hindi mo alam, baka hindi lang 5,000 souls ang ma-reach out. Through you, hindi mo alam kung baka ikaw ang dahilan kung bakit yung kapitbahay mo ay naligtas. Sad to say, meron kaming kapitbahay na matay ka makailan lang. At alam nyo ba yung kapitbahay na yon? Nakakatuwa. Kasi pag Sunday, dito, lalabas siya. Lalabas siya at nakikinig siya. ng preaching. ba? So, we don't know. Hindi man siya pumasok dito sa mismong church. Pero, ayan, makikita mo, matutuwa ka eh. <laughs> right. So, kinakaibigan po namin yan ni PF. Ayan, so, kinakausap lang namin. It's sad to say ilang na uh, he passed away. Well, that's life. Pero you know what? The important thing here is, that we have to live to bring honor to God in whatever you are doing. Let's continue to look at this. Verse 21, For to me, living means living for Christ, and dying is even better. But if I live, I can do more fruitful work for Christ. So while you live, we have to do fruitful work for Christ, not fruitful work for ourselves, not fruitful works only for our personal motives and benefits. It's really for Christ. Remember, to live is Christ is to live in glorifying Christ and giving honor to Christ. Say amen if you agree. Amen. Okay, so let's take a look at the next thing. To live by or for the ministry of Christ. To live is Christ also means to live 
for the ministry of Christ. Take note, ministry of Christ, work of Christ. Hindi po yan ministry natin. Okay, hello to my fellow Christians. Lahat ng ginagawa natin ay hindi natin trabaho. Yan ay trabaho ng Panginoon na ipinagkatiwala niya sa atin. And we are doing it, we are becoming good stewards. Okay? So, kahit maliit man yung ipinagkatiwala sa atin ng Panginoon, or malaki ang ipinagkatiwala sa atin ng Panginoon, it it's, it's only the Lord that can say we are faithful if we are doing our ministries at the best that we can. Okay? So, here, to live is Christ also means to live for the ministry of Christ. Let's take a look at this word of Paul in Philippians chapter 1, 23 to 25. Sabi niya, I'm torn between two desires, and I long to go and be with Christ, which would be far better for me. But for your sake, it is better that I continue to live. Knowing this, I am convinced that I will remain alive so I can continue to help all of you grow and experience the joy of your faith. You see, we are out to help one another and that is our ministry tama nga yung sinasabi ng Bible diba? we have to edify one another encourage one another, love one another you see, a purpose of life is also for others not for our life meron isang kanta na gustong gusto ko sa Catholic walang sino man ang nabubuhay para sa sarili lamang diba? At lahat tayo ay nabubuhay para sa ating lahat sa isa't isa. Okay, so this is our ministry that has been entrusted to us by God to help one another to grow and experience the joy of their faith. Take note, to grow. Kaya hindi natin ministry ang mag-drag ng ibang Christian. Hindi natin ministry ang siraan ng ibang Christian or ibang church. Hindi natin ministry na, na, na isiwalat ang mga baho ng mga leaders. Hindi natin ministry na, 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 na i-discourage si pastor or sino mang leaders o sino mang nag-akay sa atin. Ang ministry natin is to help others grow and experience the joy of their faith. That's why we share in our testimonies, we share in our prayer requests, and our we, we celebrate our answered prayer. We share the joy, okay? We, 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 we all experience this joy in our faith. That's the ministry that is living in Christ. <laughs> you experience all the goodness of Christ with other people. Kaya nga kapag nabless tayo, we are blessed. Nag-share din tayo, tama? Okay. I remember one pastor, no? Uh, In-invite daw siya para mag-share ng, 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 ng gospel. At nang pag-uwi niya, okay, pinabaunan siya ng mga pagkain, pinabaunan siya ng mga tinapay, ng bigas, at meron pa silang pinakimkim na cash. Okay. Hello, Papa. <laughs> God bless you. Alright. Nakaka-inspire itong mga ganitong kwento because when people are blessed, they also bless you. Okay? So, at dito yung we experience the joy. Lahat tayo. And because of our faith in Christ. Isn't it amazing? Diba? Napakaganda. To live is Christ means to live in the ministry of Christ. Sharing the burden of the church. Kaya nga, we participate. Kapag may mga fundraising, kahit limang piso lang yung maibigay mo. Kapag may mga namatay na, na mga kapatiran, kahit piso pa yung kaya mong ibigay. Well, that's a great part that you are involving yourselves for the ministry of the Lord that is really encouraging. Ngayon, maraming namatayan, yung iba nasa sementeryo. Why don't we just offer encouragement when we just offer prayers to those bereaved people? That's a great part. Hallelujah. So you are living in Christ if you are doing the ministry of Christ, which is growing and helping other people to grow and experience the joy of faith. In Jesus Christ. Amen. Okay, so that's the first part of our 
a sermon. The second part, to die is gain. Now here's the bottom question. How could be death your gain? After we have discussed that to live is Christ, is for the ministry of Christ, through Christ and by Christ, and for giving glory to Christ. Now, if you did the three, then death will gonna be your gain. How does that happen? Okay, if we look at this word gain, it's, it's from the word kurdos, which means profit. Ano nga ba ang profit? Diba? Ginagawa mo lang ito when you invest, when you do business, saka ka lang nagkaka-profit. You don't have profit if you will not invest. You don't have profit if you will not do a business. You will not have profit kapag hindi naman nagnenegosyo. If we spend money, we will lose. <laughs> Okay, if we invest money, we will have profit. It's the same principle. Death could be your gain when you invest your life in living for Christ. Apart from that, death will never be your gain. Death will contrary be your lost. My lost are lost. Kaya magiging gain lang yan kapag meron kang faith kay Christ at meron kang pamumuhay na para kay Kristo. Okay, if you look at this, the word kerdos is acquired through faith trading. Hindi siya product trading or money trading or business trading. It's a faith trading. It means how you invest your faith, that will gonna bring you profit when you die. How do you do that? Okay, while you are living, you are sharing the word of God. You are living for Jesus. While you are living, you are doing things. You're making your life pure and blameless for the glory of God. Then, that's a great investment, kapatid. Yesterday, nakakatawa kasi nagluluto ako ng turon. Okay, merienda ng mga bata kasi pag nag-aral silang mabuti, kailangan bigyan ko sila ng, ng, ng reward, ng, ng sort of motivation. Okay, itong si Sam na tinuruan ko siya na mag-add up to 500, uh, 500 na number. Okay, so pagod siya. Sabi niya, Mommy, I'm tired. <laughs> okay, so nagluto ko ng turon kasi di ba it has a sugar and it gives an instant or yeah, instant energy. Okay, sa mga bata. So, in that case, hawak ko yung phone ko sa kabila, yung, kami, yung isang kamay ko, nag, ano, nagluluto sa kasi sa, ano, sa, ano ba yun? Lutoan. <laughs> okay, may kachat ako. Okay, and I was chatting a person who is depressed. Okay, malungkot daw siya. Alright? And I am trying my best to encourage him, uh, uh, encourage this person as I share my experiences in my life. Sinasabi ko sa kanya, naranasan kong palayasin sa boarding house, naranasan kong matulog sa tabi ng basurahan, naranasan ko na, na mapagsamantalahan, okay? Naranasan ko na sumakay ng taxi na walang pamasa at umiiyak ako na awa yung driver, pinababala lang ako. <laughs> Alright, so I was trying my best to share these experiences to edify her or to give her such kind of encouragement. And in that, I believe that I am doing my best to share my faith in Christ. Ang sabi ko sa kanya, kapatid, okay, maraming beses din na nalungkot ako sa buhay ko, but when I found the real meaning of my life in Jesus Christ, even when I'm sad, I'm able to be happy and cope up anytime. Amen. Okay, so the best way that we can do our life is, or we can live our life is, to invest our faith, not only for ourselves, but for the sake of others. That's faith trading. <laughs> okay, that's investing your faith. Alright, look at this word in Philippians chapter 3, verse 1 to 8. But whatever were gains to me, I now consider loss for the sake of Christ. What is more, I consider everything a loss because of the surpassing worth of knowing Christ. 
surpassing worth of knowing Christ. Okay, ano nga ba yung background nito? Etong si Paul po kasi napaka-successful niyang tao. Biruin mo, dual citizenship siya. Okay? May pera siya noon, mapera siya kaya binili niya yung isang citizenship niya. Syempre pariseyo siya noon, okay? Pero nung na-convert siya at naging apostle na siya, nag-share na siya ng gospel, okay, nag-tent making na siya. So may work siya to support himself as he is doing the ministry. Hmm. Parang PFP. <laughs> okay, we work to support ourselves as we do the ministry. So, so parang Paul. Okay? So, hindi pala masama ang nagtratrabaho sa mga leader, sa mga pastor. It's okay. Okay? If if God has called you to do that, that's okay. Whatever, wherever God has put you to it, that's okay. Just do your part as you're becoming faithful to the Lord. Alright. So, dito, ang sabi ni Paul, lahat daw nun ng mga naranasan niya, okay, mga achievements niya, he considered There's um, as loss for the sake of Christ. Kasi, knowing Christ has a surpassing worth. Mas mahalaga daw yun. Wow! Sino po dito ang nag-aral na ng doctorate degree? Okay? Uh, congratulations kay Brother Charles. Okay? Ay, kay, kay Kuya Akim. Ayan, nag-doctorate po yan. Thank you for supporting Vision 5.5 and believing in the ministry of the Lord. Thank you so much po. So, yan. But there's a surpassing worth of knowing Christ. Kahit gaano pa kataas yung degree na matapos natin sa buhay. Okay, si Pastor Francis, master alian. Ako, double degree. Okay, triple profession. Pero, there's nothing. Okay, that's nothing. Because knowing Christ has a surpassing worth. Hallelujah. Okay, so ang sabi ni Paul... What is more, I consider everything a loss because of the surpassing worth of Christ Jesus my Lord, for whose sake I have lost all things, I consider them, take note, garbage. Lahat daw yan, basura. So that he can gain Christ. You see, you can see the life of Paul. He invested everything and he considers loss, garbage, yung mga naatay niya sa buhay. So that he can only attain Christ. You can see that Christ is the most important, uh, you know, important thing in the life of Paul. Wala na mas malagang bagay pa kay Paul kundi si Cristo. That's why he lives in Christ. Kaya nasabi niya to live is Christ because Christ is the center of his life. Everything is revolving with his faith and belief. In commitment, devotion in Christ. Okay? And that's the only way that death could be our gain. Kung hindi po natin ipapriority ang Panginoon at hindi tayo mamumungay para sa Panginoon, then death will absolutely be our lost, not our gain. From now on, start to invest your faith for other people and for Christ alone. Okay? The next time around that you would hear Happy Halloween, you should not remember the pagans' beliefs anymore. Remember this. Palitan natin. Gawin natin Happy Halloween. Okay? Ano tong Happy Halloween na to? It means you enjoy a happy living while saying hello to soul winning. Paul said na mas mainam pa daw ang mamatay so that he could be with Christ. But for the sake of those believers, okay, maganda rin daw ang mabuhay. He wants to be alive. Alright? So, ganun din tayo. Okay, dapat mabuhay tayo thinking of other people for the salvation of other people, for the growth and maturity of other people in their faith in Christ. Let's win more souls. Let's share the gospel. Let's spread the good news to bring glory to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen? There's nothing wrong. In ministering, there's nothing wrong in sharing the word. Why you would be ashamed? You shouldn't be ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. It's the power of love of God that saves our soul. If we love other people, 
share them the good news. If you love your relatives, share them the good news. Huwag kang makalala kung deadmahin ka nila. At least, you've done your part. At pagdating ng end times at masave ka, hindi ka nila masisisi na hindi mo shinare yung salvation na nareceive mo sa Panginoon. It's the same with Paul. Si Paul, dati rin siyang makasalanan, persecutor nga siya ng Christians dati. But when he was converted, when he became Christians, what did he do? He spent his life in planting churches, doing missionary journeys, okay? Encouraging people, making disciples. Si Timothy, dinisciple niya yan. And Timothy became a pastor sa isang mga plinant niyang church. You see, kahit ano ka pa ngayon, you can do great things like Paul. Alright? You don't need to be apostle like him though, but you can do the work for the Lord. Amen. Okay, so the next time you have to bear in mind Happy Halloween is Happy Halloween. I have a happy and enjoy life saying hello to soul winning. Okay, so this is what I can say to you. Live for Christ, win more souls. That's how death profits you most. Mukhang mm, mong poetic. <laughs> okay, so here's my last bonus fact. Do you know, in the old tradition of this uh, Halloween, meron silang tinatawag na souling. Ang souling is a medieval practice in England where people ask for soul cakes from house to house. So, nagbabahay-bahay sila para humingi lang ng matamis na cake. Tinatawag nilang soul cake. Alright? And during this Halloween, ganyan ang ginagawa nila. Now, eto na yung ginagawa ng mga tao. Trick or treat. Tataktak sila. Trick or treat! Pag sinabi mong treat, dapat bigyan mo sila ng matamis na candy. Pag sinabi nilang trick, okay? Dapat takutin, tatakutin ka nila. <laughs> That's trick or treat. Okay, so that is also an old tradition from the word souling. Now, let's take a look at this word souling. Instead na hihingi tayo ng soul cake, now, Let's win souls for Christ. Amen? Let's share the word for Christ. Not sharing candies, but sharing the gospel through Christ. We can still live with this tradition, but not in the belief of the pagans. Let's look at the, what the Bible is teaching us. Win souls for Jesus Christ. That's souling. Amen? Wow, that's a good trivia that we can learn about. And remember this in the word of Ecclesiastes 7 too, it's better to go to home where there's mourning than to where there's a party. Pwede rin pala tayo magbahay-bahay. <laughs> Hindi para humingi ng soul cake, kundi, alright, makiramay sa mga patay. Alright, because this reminds us that death is waiting for us all. Maaari din tayong mamatay one day. But let's make sure that death will be our gain, not our loss. Invest your faith for the life that you have now in Jesus Christ. God bless you, kapatid. Ang araw ng mga patay, paalala sa mga buhay that we should do our best investment now to gain a profit when we die. God bless you, kapatid. Let us pray. Father God in heaven, we thank you for a wonderful moment to learn how tradition had twisted our beliefs in you. And now that we know the truth, allow us to live in truth. Allow us, Lord God, to stay in truth. Allow us, Lord God, to, to share the truth. And may this truth be our roof in our lives. Allow us, Lord God, to have the real thing, real faith, that we may bring glory to your name. We bless you all, Lord. Bless all our friends, relatives, co-church members, Lord, fellow Christians, all ministers, and everyone who contributes in the work of your ministry. We bless you. We thank you. We glorify you. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. Here's my last question. Are you a zombie Christian? <laughs> Alam niyo ba ang zombie Christian? Ang zombie Christian po, tignan natin. 
Okay? It's believed that the zombie Christian lives in expense of others. They suck the blood of others. Ito yung mga nang drag sa yo. Ito yung mga nagpapa weekend ng faith mo. Zombie Christian yan. <laughs> but the real Christian invest his life for the sake of others and for the glory of Christ. Hindi ko po masasagot ito. Kayo lamang po ang makakasagot. God bless you and enjoy November. December is coming. Enjoy Christmas spirit.